So I'm under the car, under the cross country wagon, and normally there's a skid pan. I think it mounts different spots like here and here so forth. There's usually a plastic one, but someone's been kind enough to remove that for me and not put it back on. Not that I advise that. I think it's bad business, but uh, looks like that's a piece I got to procure from the junkyard. Unless somebody wants to be kind and uh, provide me with one. You know, could be a used one, could be a beat up one. That's okay. But my uh, point of attack is this right here. This is the this is a transmission that I'm going to uh, drain and fill, and I'm gonna pop this guy loose and, uh, yeah, drop it into a pan. So that'll be next. So I popped the plug. 24 seemed a little loose, 22 was too small, but I was able to get it off with a, a 24, and it just cracked open, so. I got the plug out, and as you could tell, that tranny fluid was pretty burnt. So as soon as that's done draining, I'm gonna pop this guy back in with a fresh washer. And by the way, that washer comes with a kit that I got from FCP. So with my 24, I put the new crush washer on, wiped that plug down, and I plugged it up. And I got a whole pan full of really dark transmission fluid. So I have emptied all the fluid through the, you know, draining through the drain plug. I've sealed it back up. Now I'm about to put in uh, four liters of Volvo transmission oil. Um, they say that this is very, very intolerant of different oil. So I'm gonna go with that. Um, I've had some good people tell me stick with the with the real Volvo oil and you can't go wrong so here goes nothing I've got a special transmission dipstick funnel and it's kind of tricky to get it in there but it's very doable and I'm going to slowly pour this in and I'm going to put four of these in there and then I should be good now so I just finished putting in the fourth liter and now I'm just letting the letting the funnel drain into the trans uh, seemed to work pretty well it was easy easy to do so now I'll pour the old stuff into these and dispose of it at a disposal site then we'll take her for a spin so I found it best to use a pry bar to pry the hoses out of the way so that I could put that long funnel into the transmission. So we, I went for a test drive and I came back after it was, you gotta get it good and hot. You're supposed to get it up to temperature. There's a whole sequence for uh, testing the level or checking the level. Uh, you got to reach down in there. The Volvo put this at a really difficult spot. Matter of fact, I scratched the heck out of my arm uh, reaching down in there because I got thick arms, I guess. But what was good was this funnel. This funnel was how I filled it, and that worked. Um, I did use that, that lever to clear some space to get this funnel down in there, and then positioning the funnel and getting it right inside the dipstick tube worked, and none spilled. So I actually put in four liters, which was too many, too much. So I ended up taking out about eight ounces and I used this device and I'm gonna leave it in the bag, but this is basically a large syringe that my daughter bought me for Christmas uh, on eBay or, or might've been on Amazon. But uh, this large syringe and it's got some plastic like fish tank tubing. I fed that down into the dipstick hole and it made uh, not necessarily easy, but it made it simpler to pull out the amount of fluid I needed to pull out. Once I did that, I retested the level and I'm at a good level. 
Um, it's showing I'm in the proper range. So that's, I guess, very important on this transmission. So that's been taken care of. Uh, I do highly think uh, that that Volvo transmission fluid was a critical piece because this transmission now is shifting smooth. Some of the little flares that were happening have stopped and it's running great. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Don't make the mistakes I make. That's part of why I do these to try and help you understand what to do and maybe what not to do. Hey folks, thanks for watching and like, share, and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.